Hi guys, so it is Monday, October 22nd, I believe, I think I saw earlier. Um, I'm on my way to work, yeehaw. Uh, yeah, so I was just thinking random thoughts, and I was like, ooh, I should do a video about this, because it's an interesting topic, and it's a great topic for conversation. So I was thinking, what would I, what would I be doing if I didn't have to work a job? How would I be earning money? What would I be doing with my time? There are so many things that I feel like I would be doing with my time, but before I get into that, let me just say that the times that I have had time off, um, my first panel wiring job, uh, there was a lot of layoffs, and it was supposed to be two to three weeks, and it was usually four to six weeks. And I would be so excited when layoff time was coming because I was like, oh, I have so much stuff I can get done and so much stuff I can do. And then what I would literally would do would be sitting around all day doing nothing, um, playing on my phone and being non-productive. But that was also, you know, four or five years ago and a lot of things have changed in the last four or five years. A lot of things. My mom passed away. My mother-in-law passed away. Um, my daughter no longer lives with me. My dog passed away. Um, my marriage has changed. Oh, shit. Stuck in the fucking intersection. Fuck. Um, my marriage has changed in monumental ways. I do not want to be stuck in this intersection. And I have changed in monumental ways. So I don't know that I would do the same thing, but I'm going to say history tends to repeat itself, so probably... But if I could be doing anything I wanted, I would be doing, I would be cooking more because I do enjoy cooking and I, and I enjoy experimenting with new recipes and finding things that taste super yummy. And they're usually some level of comfort food going on, um, but I like healthy comfort food. I don't like heavy, heavy stuff. I'm not a spaghetti person. I'm not a lasagna person. I'm not a you know, heavy casserole dish kind of eater. I can't eat heavy foods. They just sit like a rock in my stomach. So, um, it's usually more along the lines of roasted cauliflower, you know? So like a head, I saw a recipe for a roasted head of cauliflower and it just looked so yummy. Things like that. Um, I'd like to say that I would be cleaning my house regularly, but that used to be a big thing for me like I felt like I had to be cleaning all the time and everything had to be perfect and I had to have like a magazine presentable home all the time I don't feel that way anymore um you know I like to make sure that I have clean socks and underwear as far as laundry goes and I don't like the kitchen sink to be stinking because the dishes have been sitting there too long uh, and I like to be able to walk around on my floor without stepping on things. So that's pretty much the extent of my cleaning these days. I would definitely be getting more coins and looking through more coins to, to sell coins. Just not like the super expensive ones, but just little neat finds that I find. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, $20 coins or $100 coins. It would just be the little dinky dollar coins and $5 coins because it would be kind of a side hobby, not like a full-time job. Um, I would be making things. I would probably be painting and drawing and selling those. I still want to do an adult coloring book out of my drawings, um, but I just haven't been really in the headspace to draw lately. I haven't really experimented with painting, but I would love to be able to have the time to just really I like to be able to kind of have several hours, you know, four or five hours to get into something like that. So I don't usually have that kind of time or patience, but that might be something I would, I would get into. Um, I tend to do things in layers in that regard. So I would probably do like an outline and then let it dry and then come back and do a little more detail, kind of like I do with my drawings. Um, I would be making things. I would love to make pallet furniture to sell. Um, I would probably make myself a few things first because there's a few things that I would love to have in my own home, but then I would make things to sell. I would probably do some pallet signs. Those seem to sell fairly well. People are charging 
kind of high for them. I mean, if you spend only a couple bucks on paint and you got the palettes for free, um, yeah, there's labor, but if you're doing it because you enjoy doing it, then why charge prices? I don't get, I don't get the pricing. Um, most people sell them for 40 to 60. I would probably sell them for 20, um, uh, because I would be doing what I love and I would have multiple streams of income. So I would be doing more YouTube. I would be finding lots of exciting ways to do YouTube videos and, and maybe monetize that at some point. I would be, <clears throat> I would also love to do like, not like life coach, but kind of like life coach. I actually thought of an app idea that was, it's kind of silly, but it's kind of cool at the same time. You know, I was thinking, what about having like an app where people can either buy it for 99 cents or it's like 99 cents a transaction or whatever, not a transaction, but, um, I don't know, some kind of monetary, you know, cost, but it wouldn't be super high, but it would be like a, a couple of people that I know and myself that could, someone could text in, you know, what they're having issues with, but instead of getting like a counselor response, get like a real world, um, honest, not sugar-coated, I'm not here to hold your hand kind of answer, you know, uh, more along the lines of, you know, well, this is what you need to do and you need to get out of your own headspace and get it taken care of. What is your end goal? You know, let's not think about the feelings and emotions in this situation. Some, some situations, not all situations. Um, but just a more realistic answer where I'm, I'm so tired of people needing to have everything sugar-coated and people to hold their hand because they might get their feelings hurt or they can't handle it. I think people need more tough love, you know? And I think that would be kind of a cool thing. I think some people could really benefit from that because not everybody has somebody in their life that can do that for them. Um, that's one thing I loved about my best friend in Michigan um, is her and I could really do that with each other. You know, we would we would come to each other complaining, but then after we were done listening to each other, it was like, okay, well, what the hell are we gonna do now? You know, it was it was tough love. Like, get your ass in gear and get it done. Um, so that you know, that maybe something along those lines. Uh, gosh, what else would I be doing? Hmm. Maybe I would be more into crocheting and I could get a stockpile of stuff to sell. I don't really like taking orders. I've been that route now. Uh, for years I tried to make things and sell them and it didn't work. And then, um, you know, that's what I was really focused on was getting, you know, doing crochet orders. Well then, um, my, my job before this, I ended up getting a bunch of orders and I realized that it takes all the fun out of it and I didn't enjoy it. And it really, since I finished that last order that I got, I really haven't wanted to crochet anything. So I would really prefer the route of just make things that make me happy and then try to sell them. Um, that doesn't seem to work as well because I did have a couple of leftover things that I made that were not the right size. And then I tried to sell them and people just really weren't buying. Um, there's, there's kind of a weird balance there because people have to be wanting something and that's why orders work better. Oh, fuck. Car accident, I think. Or something weird's going on. Um, oh, they're trying to jumpstart each other. So, um, you know, it's not... It's almost easier to get orders and then make per order as far as consistency and selling. But, you know, again, I would have multiple streams of income, so it wouldn't really matter how long it took to sell. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I could be doing whatever I wanted and didn't have to work, I would be making all kinds of things and I would have all kinds of streams of income, um, through YouTube and other things. Uh, yeah, probably I could go on if I had time. To, oh, these stupid box elder bugs are all over my house and they've gotten in my car and they're like flying around when I'm driving. Um... So, let's see if I can get this one out the window. Fly away. Go away. 
Yeah, if I had time to just, you know, not try to keep the video going, I could probably come up with at least five more things that I could be doing if I didn't have to work. So, yeah, I thought that would be an interesting topic. Um, what would you be doing if you didn't have to work? Or what are you doing because you don't have to work um, to be fulfilled and to also keep your bills paid? Uh, leave some comments, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!